What's up everyone? This is ANA Hobbies. I'm Corey and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a little bit uh, different set than what I am used to. As you all should know, I am primarily into getting the Star Wars stuff. But my wife was nice enough to pick up this set for me at Walmart. She said I couldn't find any Star Wars stuff that you hadn't already purchased. So she grabbed me this Marvel's Spider-Man Far From Home. It is official Lego set 76128. Molten Man Battle, 294 pieces, recommended for ages 7 plus. It is from the movie Spider-Man Far From Home, obviously. And the box art is very much as you would expect from Marvel. Lots of action. Uh, if you've seen the movie, it's been out for a while now, so not too concerned about spoilers. But you would know that the character that this is based off of, Molten Man here, as he absorbs metal, he gets bigger and stronger hence the signs the bits of the car there that he is absorbing so that should be a neat aspect to this build he also comes with a six stud shooter three minifigures in this set one being mysterio the second being the true hero of the entire set in my opinion the firefighter and this third one which is exclusive to this set they say is Spider-Man, but I'm pretty sure that's Night Monkey. Night Monkey! Yeah. Night Monkey, help! Night Monkey! And taking a look at the back of the box here, again, much as you would expect out of a Marvel, you have Mysterio flying through the air, battling Molten Man. You have, I'm going to call Night Monkey down here. Some of the extra accessories that you will get with the kit and how the six stud shooter functions. We also have our hero, the fireman, in trouble there. Molt Man's got a grip on him. All in all, I like the box art on these Marvel sets. They really do uh, give you what you should expect. That headpiece should be fairly interesting. I'm assuming that that is printed, but we'll have to see. A lot of uh, these clear lava pieces with the gold outlining on them see them down here on the feet they should be some pretty interesting pieces to use so I'm gonna get into building this I'm gonna put this together I'll throw the build on the video it's only a couple hundred pieces and we'll take a look at it once it's done I will put a timestamp right here if you guys want to skip to seeing the completed set if speed builds aren't your thing and if you like the speed builds then enjoy it and we'll see you when it's all put together
completed set. I always find it a little fun to see if I could set up the set exactly how they have on the box art and I think on this one I think I came pretty close. So let's have a look at the set here. We have Night Monkey here or Spider-Man in his Night Monkey suit. And he's got a nice little print, just your standard Spider-Man head. And some torso printing and leg printing. He's got some printing on the back. All in all, this, this minifigure here is exclusive to this set. So if you want this guy, you're gonna have to get this set for him or purchase him single. And here's the Mysterio. Um, great printing on him. Front, legs, nice dark green color. The cape is one of their nice new capes. Comes with these little action pieces and this nice little fishbowl helmet. And the only real kind of downfall with him is they only gave him the silver headpiece, which is meant to be uh, the smoke that he has in the helmet when he's wearing it because you can't see his face. But I think they should have included probably a real face for him if you didn't want the helmet on him at all times. But all in all, really neat figure. Okay, and here is our firefighter, uh, the true hero of the set. Really nice printing on him. He came with this buildable fire extinguisher that I thought was great. Nice, easy way to build a fire extinguisher. Um, he doesn't have a double-sided face, just one-sided face. And again, leg printing and torso printing, always great job. And here we have our completed set, our completed Molten Man from the movie Spider-Man Far From Home. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the build. Um, you start with the torso, obviously, and then kind of build off that couple of funny things that I found about it is they had to duplicate the feet. Uh, some They weren't reversed or mirrored in any way, so to me it almost looks like he has two left feet, uh, but it's absolutely the way it was intended. Really enjoyed these gold plated trans pieces but it seems to me like the paint, don't mind my hands, I'm back to work. I've had Lego soft hands and they're getting a little beat up. Uh, but the paint on them is very delicate. There's spots here that has kind of poked its way through on a lot of the pieces. 
but still a very, very cool accent on those. Um, the car and the I beams that they put in here to replicate Molten Man consuming metal and becoming stronger was a really nice addition. I really enjoyed, this is gonna be funny, but the small things really mattered. I enjoyed this street light. It, it was a really cool way to make a street light with a street sign out of very, very little parts and it was very, very effective, very identifiable. And I just thought that was a very beautiful part of the design on that one. And uh, some sticker pieces here, this sticker piece, there's a sticker piece on his chest over here on his under or upper arm. Uh, some sticker pieces up here on the top. And honestly, the build had me sold all the way up to this head. I, I don't know, yes, the piece is printed, but I, uh, I just feel like you could have executed the head a little bit better. Uh, to me, it seems like they started from the bottom, worked their way to the top, and by the time they got to the head, they had run out of a budget and just had to throw a piece on there to make something work. And to me, it just does not work at all. So the head is a very, very big letdown. I think it takes away from the rest of the set. You have complete opposability, as always with these mech style builds, all ball joints on the knees, hips, elbows, and shoulders. Comes with a six stud shooter. All you do to fire that is turn that and you're getting little translucent orange studs all over your Lego room. So my very first Marvel set that I've ever had I had to say it was a fun build. They did totally lose me on the head here, but I really think all these trans orange pieces pull off the look of him being all lava with these long spring-loaded spring, uh, spring -loaded shooter missile type pieces here to indicate dripping lava. And a lot of cool details. Almost a little too busy up top, but it kind of got away with it with the simple, simple head design. So that's it, you guys. That's my thoughts and opinions on LEGO Set 76128 Molten Man Battle from the Spider-Man Far From Home movie. All in all, first Marvel set, and I have to say, it's not too bad. I do love my Star Wars. And it will always be top on my list. And I am enjoying the Harry Potter stuff a lot. So I don't think I'm going to be getting too far into Marvel at the time. Unless something comes out that really, really, really speaks to me. But as of now, I think Molten Man might be the only one in the collection for a little while. Well, I want to thank you guys for staying with me. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps, helps grow the channel. I think I'm gonna do another giveaway somewhere around 1500 subscribers. So let's help get the channel up to 1500 subscribers so we can keep giving some uh -huh. Lego sets to people. I'm really enjoying that. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos that are coming very shortly. Thanks guys. I appreciate every single one of you. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.